So this is going to be part two of a two series response video that I have made towards G-Man who is a Christian fundamentalist YouTuber. This is going to be the less serious part but in this video I want to discuss uh, G-Man and his uh, tirades against atheists and he calls us unintelligent and so forth. And in the first video I made me and uh, the guy who uh, G-Man was responding to, uh, Dragna, who is a, a friend of mine or whatever, and we were responding back and forth, and the, no the, 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 the main thing was G-Man is just a very uneducated person. So I have some, some knowledge I'm going to give to you. I'm going to give him some advice uh, to help to, uh, you know, from one brother to another. Our, our education system has failed millions of people, and G-Man is one of those people. This is a guy who goes on YouTube and wants to debate with people who have degrees in biology, physics, uh, you know, chemistry, whatever. And, and, and they're well versed in their fields of expertise. While G-Man's like Elmer Fudd, he's trying to, you know, he, he's debating with a you know, person who has a PhD in biology. He's, he's saying, well, the Bible says that, you know, uh, you know, uh, there's dog kind, there's cat kind, and there's a, uh, you know, bird kind. So that's how I feel all the animals in the boat. And I, and I feel bad for this guy. You know, he's, he's, he, you know he, he, sometimes he can be a really nice person when we don't talk about religion. So I actually want to offer him some advice. When I first started college, I had, you know, I already knew I was going to have to learn calculus. And one of my friends who was a little bit further along than me showed me their calculus book. And unfortunately, I was like, you know, I was scared. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to learn this stuff. But you see, education is a stepping stone. You just can't learn about uh, calculus when you don't even know basic algebra. And that's the problem when it comes to G-Man and education in general. He just doesn't have a foundation. He's trying to put together a roof when he doesn't even have the uh, seabed in, in the basement yet. So we're going to have to start G-Man off at the very bottom of the educational totem pole. We're going to have to start them off with some very basic elementary school educational material. Um, I would recommend him going to, first off, Hooked on Phonics, Learning Library, and Reader Rabbit. These were things that I used when I was in uh, between the grades of kindergarten to about mm, second, third grade. So once he masters this, I would recommend him looking at the Clue Finders educational series. Now this is great for a person like G-Man. Because in, this, in these games, you can solve puzzles, you can, you know, do a lot of problem solving, and, and, and use some of that, those reasoning skills that haven't, you know, that, that haven't developed whatsoever. So this is going to get that, I mean, once again, it's going to get the brain pumping. You know, it, it's, it's, been, it's, it's been dusty up there, so you, gotta, you, gotta, you, you can't just drive a NASCAR when you don't even know how to ride a bicycle with training wheels. So you're going to have to start them off very slowly. Next off, or actually this would be a co-requisite with uh, the Clue Finder series, I would recommend him going to Khan Academy, which has done, you know, has educated millions of people around the world and has helped people around the world. You know, it's a, definitely a force of good. I have a playlist that, you know, that's from Khan Academy that's titled Middle School Math, where he would be able to learn, you know, very basic math such as addition, subtraction, you know, starting and then start moving along to the uh, law of operations and algebra um, because we want to make sure that foundation is set. Because education is like a building, it's like a flight of stairs. Each flight of stairs represents one level of knowledge or education. And G Man wants to play around the third or fourth floor when honestly his mental capacity is in the basement somewhere trying to you know step on the second or third step so we have to start them off at the bottom when it comes to this, this is why i'm going over it sequentially everything that he needs to uh you know understand and educate himself on so moving along once he masters all the things that I just mentioned or recommended i would recommend him moving along into some not too complex some moderately difficult stuff for middle schoolers and I would start off, uh, you just go to the library, um, your local public library, and go look at, um, you know, basic biology, chemistry, physics, um, and, you know, physical sciences, and so forth. You know, when you look at biology, he, w he wants to debate macroevolution and, you know, try to debate with someone about it. But then he doesn't even have the foundation to, you know, or the basic comprehending 
of basic biology here. I mean, this is a guy who who denies scientific theory. So in in essence, I think you just start off at the very very beginning. Hey, you know, when I was in the uh, sixth seventh grade, I learned about photosynthesis. How plants need the sun to survive. That's how they get their food, basic nutrients. That's you use the sun. They, the way we understand that is through the scientific method. If you put a plant or most plants somewhere where there's no sunlight or ah, sunlight, then they die. It's very simple. But then also, I, I would also recommend him looking at a, you know, elementary uh, planetary science. You know, this is a guy who thinks that the world was created about six, ten thousand or, you know, six or ten thousand years ago. And, you know, that's just that's just not true. It's like saying that the distance between New York and Los Angeles is like 20 feet. It's not. It, we know that the age of the Earth is around 4.7 billion years old. And there's hundreds of different scientific methods that we use to uh, back that up. But let's not get into something too complex. You know, we're talking about big numbers here. We don't want to we don't want G man to, you know, uh, ha have him have a breakdown or, 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 or whatever we don't we don't want to overwhelm the guy you know we have to we have to take it real slowly for him so once he understands you know the basic uh, planetary sciences as well maybe you can move into uh, the difference between like maybe a galaxy and you know uh, the different or, or I mean he can you know look at the different kinds of galaxies we have uh, different kind of stars throughout the gal you know the universe or whatever. just get, 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 getting him Acclimated. This will be the last series that I recommend to G-Man. It's called The Magic School Bus. Now, this is a educational TV show, and and actually they made them into books as well, where it follows a you know a school teacher who takes her children all over the place and she educates them about all kinds of uh, different kinds of sciences. I think this would be good for them as well. Now, in all seriousness, honestly, G-Man, I I really think you need to. You know, educate yourself, my brother, because I've seen a lot of the videos and I've been in videos and podcasts with you. And honestly, I think your biggest problem is that you just lack understanding and comprehension of a lot of the things you uh, try to talk about. When you say stuff like dog kind and cat kind and you're trying to talk about macroevolution, well, I'm sorry, bro, but you just sound a little stupid. I mean, that's just being um, honest with you. But I'm, I'm, you know, if you need help with any of the things that I mentioned within this video, I am willing to help you because, you know, if someone wants to further themselves when it comes to uh, their education and knowledge, I'm always willing to help someone, you know, and that's just how I am. Now, this video might be a little entertaining and funny, but I seriously think G-Man needs to brush up on a lot of the things that I mentioned in the video. I don't, I, I mean, from what I've seen, it looks like he just lacks that foundation when it comes to education and it's sad but that's all i got to talk about today tell me what you guys think in the comments below subscribe to my channel and have a nice day